Hello things, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've sat down and did a Q&A, but um, after a lot of requests, um, I've finally um, taken the time to gather all the questions I've had from like two months ago, well no, a month ago, and so I'm finally answering them. But first of all, I just really want to thank you guys for all the support um, for the Global Army songs and just for me in general and just the growth of the channel has changed immensely for the last year and i really really appreciate it and i really really um strive to work harder this year as well um so yeah um this q a will be split into two sections so um part one will probably be a little bit more like general infos about me for like new subscribers and then part two will be um, more about uh, this year's global, Ar <laughs> global army song project and um, just general um, information that you would need if you plan to join and yeah and more about music as well so yeah um, let's get right into it where am I from um, if you didn't watch my older videos um, you're probably really confused where am I from, um, but I'm from Taiwan um, If you guys don't know where that is, that's like a tiny country like underneath South Korea And a little bit off to the side from China, but um, I'm from Taiwan and I've lived in Taiwan most of my life, but I'm actually um, Filipino Taiwanese so my mom is a Taiwanese and my dad is from the Philippines so um, I guess you can say I'm from both places <laughs> um, yeah um, I'm 20 I turning 21 in a couple of months but um, yeah I'm 20 years old um, I currently live in Taiwan but it's due to corona that I have been sent back home so I didn't expect to be back so soon I'm I was actually um, in the US for uni but um, COVID hit and so now I'm back <laughs> um, I am currently studying um, nursing in university uh, this is sort of my, well, supposedly my second year, so first year for clinical years, but um, because of corona, uh, my parents have decided that I should take a break for about a semester until I, it's at least quote unquote safer to go back to school, and so I'm currently just <laughs> here talking to you but yeah I'm taking um, learning how to be a nurse in college how many languages do I speak I speak about four and a half ish um, I speak English and um, because my dad's from the Philippines I, I speak Tagalog but I'm more fluent in Bisaya because my dad is from there and I did spend a little bit of time with my grandparents um, I also speak Chinese because my mom is from Taiwan um, I learn I've been learning trying to learn trying to master Korean for about two three years now so I can understand about 60% of what they're saying but so far English has been my native language so um, I mainly speak English <laughs> do I watch K dramas and yes um, if you guys want me to make a video about all the K dramas I've watched or like recommendation really you just comment down below if you want that because i've watched like 200 more than 200 probably but yeah um do you like cats or dogs i like both is that okay i feel like yeah i like both um in college i have a friend who has this huge fat like orange cat and i just fell in love with it <laughs> but um i like dogs too because they're really really sweet and they cuddle you so i like both when did i became become became 
become an army sure let's just go with that um i became an army early 2015 like before um i need you era started i think so like it was technically still like um danger era um i saw this video on youtube uh of bts like chasing around each other doing their kcon la um reality tv segment and that's how i fell on the rabbit hole <laughs> but yeah i've been in army for almost more than five years yeah when did i start writing music i started writing music when i was 13 um i was an emo kid believe it or not <laughs> in middle school so i started writing to sort of like keep it like a journal entry and then it became um something i would do to just release uh like an outlet almost um where do i get my inspiration honestly inspiration is really subjective i guess depending on who you are you get inspiration differently me personally i feel like i get inspiration from my own life experiences and also um other people's stories on and also just things around me like um i will get into that like later later when i talk about music more but um i tend to get inspiration when i take a moment to just you know like look at the tree <laughs> or just um take a moment to just think and process things and then uh, while i sort of do that just things will start coming but sometimes you know inspiration strikes when you <laughs> least expect it so those times you also have to make sure you're ready to like write ideas down but yeah when was the moment you realized your passion for music? Um, I think that's a very interesting question. At first it was a hobby, but then I guess the moment that I uh, let my dad hear my first song, he sort of had this expression on his face that sort of told me that, wow, like, you did that and to see my dad's uh, face and how he reacted to it it really made me happy and the moment i started writing the global army songs and how people started reacting to it and just giving me tons of positive messages and how like wow like gracie your song has touched me or has made my day and I feel like that was the moment where music to me was no longer a hobby it was more than just a hobby um, it becomes something that I was really passionate about because it is a message and also a tool to help people and I think that's an important aspect to making music so yeah that's when I realized it I guess that's about it. Oh, there's one more. Have I ever been to a BTS concert? Yes, I've seen them four times. <laughs> um, they've came to Taiwan like 2017, 2018, so I've been to both. So yeah, um, I think the rest of the questions are music related, so I will end part one here and um, I will answer some music related questions in part two so i hope to see you in part two um but thank you guys so much for watching this video and also for the people who asked these wonderful questions um thank you so much for taking the time to even get to know me even though I'm technically a nobody but thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video and coming back to my channel and for subscribing and for just being here and um before i go i just want to to remind you that um, during this unprecedented times, um, I know that it's easy to feel like you're alone, 
but um, I just want to tell you that you are not alone and um, hope is around us so please don't give up um, yeah please leave a like um, comment down below if you have any more questions maybe we'll do this another time but um, I genuinely would like to provide more content for you guys to just you know um, to let you know that there's a person in the other side of the world or like same country or just in Taiwan that um, is here for you and so yeah please like subscribe comment and um, I'll see you in the next video bye